Well, welcome back to my channel. Uh, do give this video a like and a subscribe if you've liked it and it's been helpful. I'm here uh, this afternoon at Lytham St Anne's near Blackpool and I've come to this famous jetty uh, that lots of photographers uh, take a picture of. It's high tide in half an hour, the sun is beaming, not the greatest day to take a long exposure, but we're going to filter up and we're going to have a give it a try and we're going to get some sunset, sunset shots of around the area. We've got the windmill over there and I've got a bottle of water with me and that bottle of water is going to be useful at sunset and hopefully I'll show you why. So let's get into it. Walk on. Oh, welcome back. I'm uh, I'm here at uh, Lytham Beach. Let me get the sun on me. Yeah, I'm here at Lytham, Lytham Beach and I've just come to have a look at the beach huts which are over there. Um, they're quite nice and I thought I could get my drone out but no because we've got Blackpool Airport and Wharton as well but there is a little slither between the two restricted zones uh, to fly the drone for the jetty uh, near the windmill. So that's what I've done and I've got the, the jetty and hopefully you've seen some of that footage. Um, so we've got the pier behind me which we're gonna take a few shots at. I've, oh, get rid of this side. So oh, that's it, there, so the sun's behind me. Uh, so there's this bit of a, a jetty here that's just getting bashed up and there's a few interesting shots but the really interesting shot was this couple you can't see them on this camera uh, but there was a couple and they were walking towards uh, this location where I am at the moment and um, the, the nice lines in the in the sand and they were walking hand in hand and they were looking over towards the sun the, the light was hitting them so I've got a couple of those and I'll show them at the end of the video. They were quite nice and I gave them my card and said you can have them for free um, because that's what I do sometimes. Um, look a really nice couple, they're happy and I just thought, oh, make the day and give them some photographs and um, they've appreciated it, appreciate them, I think. So I'm going to go off to this pier here. I'm going to go back to Granny Steps, which is along uh, Lytham Road and then back to the windmill tonight. Uh, for this reflection, which I'm going to create using a water bottle. See you soon. Right, it's an hour off uh, sunset. I'm here at Granny's Bay. <laughs> Funny day. Um, it's living St Anne's and just I'm looking now um, at Southport just over my shoulder and I'm hoping that when sun goes down and it pops that there's an oil rig just in distance but to the left and to the right of the oil rig there's some wind farms but behind that I think there's the mountains of what North Wales and you can see Birkenhead as well, just further on down the coast. So hoping for a treat tonight of this sunset when it pops after half eight and you get a golden hour. 
So I'm going to get back into the car now, I'm going back to the jetty and the windmill and hopefully do this little trick um, with some water. I've given it away now, haven't I? It, well, it's kind of like you just pour some water on the floor and make a puddle of your own and then you're going to get the reflection of the uh, windmill, hopefully. And when it's popped and there's a bit more red and pinks in the sky. Um, so, yeah. Onwards and upwards, and down the road. Okay, so I'm at the windmill, and the sun's almost gone down. See it pop. Mm, very nice. I've just got a lot of houses though, but I'm not really here for houses. I'm here for this windmill and hopefully the skies will go a bit more pink as the sun goes down. The plan is... Move back, see my tripod. So the plan is, is to get a bit of water, put it on the pavement and then get the reflection from the water and the sun set with the windmill. And those women are just walk past thinking what on earth is he doing? Yeah, what am I doing? Um, so I've got my tripod really, really low. Probably get it lower than that. And then because this pavement's on a bit of a slope, well, it's common sense really, so it can go into the sea. Um, I'm gonna have to be quite, quite quick. And there's people passing all the time. So, uh, but yeah, it's another, another view of that. Pretty good. Nice clouds. Pictures at the end of the video, if you want to see those clouds, you can skip this bit. Um, but they do have this windmill on in blue and yellow, so at night, um, and then they've got this funny building here. I don't really know what it is, I think it was the toilets at, at one point, that building. So we'll go with it and see what we get. Hopefully the results at the end of the video. Ciao, ciao. So guess what? <laughs> it ran off just like a thought it would. But I did get a little bit of a reflection. Um, pitiful really, really pitiful. But we might try again. Well, uh, I'm not sure this visit was was worth it. We'll see when we get home when we do the edits. Um, if you're interested um, of how to edit photographs in Lightroom and Photoshop, please um, message uh, comment below i'll do a video um the moon's out sun's down the lights are on and i'm heading back to the car if you like this video give it a like and give me a subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated bye for now and until the next time take care